Today, we're diving into some exciting news about the upcoming Galaxy S25 lineup, including the intriguing dummy unit leak and what it could mean for Samsung's new flagship phone. So, if you're as curious as we are, make sure to stick around. Recently, we got a peek at the Galaxy S25 through an aluminum dummy unit that showcases some subtle but interesting design changes. The dimensions are 146.94 mm, 70.46 mm, x 7.25 mm, making the Galaxy S25 slightly smaller and thinner than its predecessor. What's more, it's significantly more compact than its bigger sibling, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, which measures a hefty 162.82 mm x 77.65 mm x 8.25 mm. For those users who prioritize a flagship experience but want a device that's easy to handle, the base Galaxy S25 seems to be a perfect fit. It has those classic rounded corners we've come to love, making for a sleek design that's both modern and ergonomic. Now let's talk about what's powering the Galaxy S25. Traditionally, Samsung has equipped the Galaxy S series with different processors based on the region. In the US, China, and Canada, we expect to see Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon application processors, while other markets often get the Exynos variants. However, there's a twist. Recent rumors suggest that Samsung's original plans may have hit a snag due to low yield issues at Samsung Foundry. As a result, there's speculation that all Galaxy S25 models might come equipped with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 processor across the board, similar to what we saw with the Galaxy S23 series. If this turns out to be true, Samsung will face a significant dilemma regarding pricing. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to have a price tag that's approximately 20% higher than its predecessor, which could push the cost to around $240 per unit. Evaluating this, Samsung might either need to raise the prices of the Galaxy S25 series or accept a hit to their profit margin, a tough call for any company, especially one like Samsung that prides itself on competitive pricing. But there's also another player in the field. MediaTek's marketing folks might just be sitting in a sweet spot if their Dimensity 9400 chip comes into the picture with a low price point of around $155. The Dimensity processors have shown strong performance and could potentially pique Samsung's interest, especially if pricing becomes a sticking point. It's worth mentioning that there have been whispers of a partnership between Samsung and MediaTek in the past. Although a previous collaboration was scrubbed due to supply issues, the powerful specs of the Dimensity 9400 boasting 30 billion transistors could change the narrative this time. Imagine if Samsung finally decides to partner with MediaTek and offers competitive pricing alongside impeccable performance. This could shake up the entire flagship market landscape. It's a fascinating scenario to consider. So, what do you think? Will Samsung stick to Qualcomm for the S25 series, or will we see a surprise partnership with MediaTek? And how might that affect pricing? We're eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest updates on the Galaxy S25 and more tech news. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay tech savvy.